I guess I'm, I guess I see where you're coming from. You're probably not that confident because, I mean, a lot of the people in the audience, there's probably slightly more Germaniacs. Than <laughs> Sexuals. <laughs> so that must really that must really take a toll on your confidence. <laughs> you, you, you. you don't have a song or anything to cheer me up today. <laughs> Sort of that's what I heard. I would 
would not just go off on some sort of Freudian improvisation. <laughs> Thing about that sort of thing, it's just, it's not even legal. <laughs> well, it's legal. I may have said that I put a wig on you. I just, I mean, I, I mean, I, I you know, it's legal, but I just, I just think that, you know, as a band, if we're going to be on the road, you can't do that while I'm sleeping. Because you do have that wig in your bag. <laughs> okay, excuse me, excuse us. Great, I... When I say put a wig on you, I don't mean I literally put a wig on you. That's a figure of speech used in America. It's a kind of speech that Americans call jive talking. It, re it refers back to the days when men would wear powdered wigs. And to compliment, to put a wig on someone was the highest form back in, back in status the, uh, appraisal. In the 1970s. In the 18s. 18 in 1818 and one would say and this still carries on to this day if you look in the streets of downtown Los Angeles you will hear well, the brothers yeah. they say hey you you look good I put a wig on you I spoon you. I spoon you, friend. Good day, sir. Good day. Good. Okay.